Thanks for kicking back with us today, everyone. It's Andrew from iDownloadBlog, and we have a new pair of headphones supporting Apple's W1 wireless chip, and we're gonna take a look at the magic that makes that process work. The W1 chip, for those uninitiated, is an Apple-designed wireless chip included in the upcoming AirPods, as well as several pairs of Beat headphones. Currently, the Beats Solo 3 wireless are the only headphones on the market that use Apple's W1 chip. The W1 chip brings a lot of neat functionality, including far superior range, some battery saving capabilities, and a really amazing quote unquote pairing process that Apple never really says. They more of say kind of just auto magically works. So you will see some new headphones, which we can hopefully do reviews on, as well as the upcoming AirPods, which all use this special chip, and it's only limited to Apple because they have specifically designed the chip for their headphones. So to pair your headphones, you simply turn them on, a new little card will come up from the bottom of your phone. You can just hit connect and that's it. There's nothing more to do. You can simply hit done. Now your headphones are paired with your phone, but it's not just that. It's not just being paired with your phone. It solves a lot of the issues that we've had in the past with other headphones. First off, I can swipe to my left and inside of Notification Center, I can actually see the battery life of my headphones, which is something that we've seen Apple do with their smart battery case. So it allows you to see easily from your phone what the battery charge is on your headphones. But even more impressive is the ability to jump between devices. So for instance, maybe during the day, you like to listen to your headphones on your computer, on your Mac. But then in the evening, you know you want to listen to it on your phone, and then when you sit on the couch, you want to listen to it on your iPad. And now you can without having to unpair and repair your headphones each and every single time. I actually have multiple pairs of Bluetooth headphones because this process was so annoying to me. So you can see here in Control Center, it's got my Beats headphones. But I can go to my iPad, it'll sync that pairing protocol over to my iPad via iCloud, and now I can actually see my headphones on my iPad, and I can just tap them to switch to my, he to my new Beats headphones instead of my iPad. And it even works on Mac, so I can just be listening to my headphones on my phone, walk in the door, sit down, open up my computer, choose my new Beats headphones from my menu bar under audio, and I can now listen to them on my Mac. No pairing, no comp complicated stuff. It just automatically works in the background, as Apple likes to say. This has been such a problem for me. This is one of the things I was most excited about after Apple's September media event. Let us know what you think about the W1 wireless chip down in the comments below. Please go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, it's Andrew for iDownloadBlog.